Hi, in this video, we are going to learn how AI can help us in making beautiful presentations. And assuming that you are already using ChatGPT and Microsoft PowerPoint, the method that I will tell you in this video is not going to cost you anything. It is completely free. But before you get your hopes really high and start thinking that AI will do everything and you will not have to create a presentation ever again. Let me be clear, the presentation that AI creates will be a good starting point and it will save you a lot of your time in making that presentation. But you will need to do some incremental improvements and get to the final stage yourself. With this, let us see how AI can help us in making our presentation. First, let me tell you about the presentation making process when we are using AI. The first step of the process is to get the key textual points and slide titles that we want to have in our slides. That is, we want the presentation outline. The second thing is putting these points into a presentation. The third step is making the presentation beautiful by using relevant images, color schemes and icons. Now for the first two steps, we are going to use ChatGPT. So we will ask ChatGPT to create an outline for the presentation based on the topic or based on the script in case we have the script. Once we have the outline, we will ask ChatGPT to write VBA code for turning that outline into a presentation. Then we will go to Microsoft's PowerPoint and there we will see two AI based methods that Microsoft offers to create a beautiful presentation from the text written in the slide. This whole process will take about 5 to 10 minutes and it may save hours of your effort. So suppose I am tasked with creating a presentation on the topic space exploration. The first thing I need to do is create a presentation outline on this topic. For creating the outline, I am going to my chat GPT account and I will ask chat GPT to give me an outline for this presentation. So let's go to chat GPT now. So here's the prompt that I'm going to use. I've written here, I want to create a presentation on the topic space exploration. It should have one title slide and five content slides. This is important. So if you want more slides, you can write that here. For each slide, I want the slide title and three, four bullet points. Add examples and data wherever possible. Let us give this prompt to ChatGPT and see what we get. You can see that ChatGPT has generated a very nice outline on this topic. It has given us a title slide with title and subtitle and then an overall flow of the presentation starting from introduction to space exploration, types of space exploration, achievements, challenges, future, etc. And within each slide, we also have multiple points and it also contains examples and data points. If you have more details of what you want to cover or if you have prepared the script for what you want to say, you can provide those details or that script also to ChatGPT and get a better customized presentation outline. You can do some iterations till the time you get an outline which is largely acceptable to you. So you can click on this regenerate button to generate multiple iterations of it or you can also provide your feedback or suggestions and get an improved outline from ChatGPT. For minor changes and fine tuning of the points, I would suggest that you make those small changes manually later once the presentation has been created. Now once the outline is ready, the first step is complete. The next step is to put these titles and points into a presentation. Now if the number of slides are less, you can do this by simply copy pasting also. But if there are a lot of slides, this can become quite cumbersome and time consuming. So we are going to ask ChatGPT to write VBA code which can create these slides for us automatically. Don't worry, you don't need coding skills for this. ChatGPT will give you the code and you just have to copy paste it in PowerPoint's VBA code editor and run it. Let me show you how that can be done. First, let us ask ChatGPT to create the VBA code for us. Here's the prompt that I'm using for that. I'm saying, 
write VBA code for making a PowerPoint presentation containing these slide titles and bullet points. Let's run this. And you can see that ChatGPT has started writing the VBA code. You may be able to identify the textual titles and bullet points written within this code. Now ChatGPT is also telling us how we can use this code. Let me show you how that can be done. You just have to copy this code by clicking on this copy button or you can select this code manually also but this is an easier way. Now open PowerPoint. So here I have opened PowerPoint and I have opened a blank presentation. Now to run the VBA code, we have to go to this developer tab. If you're not able to see this developer tab, right click on this ribbon and open the option of customize the ribbon and make sure that this developer is ticked here. If this is ticked, you'll be able to see this developer tab. Click on visual basic, go to insert a new module. You can see that a new module window is present here. You have to paste your code in this window. So let me maximize this so you can see that clearly. I have pasted the entire code here. I am changing the name of this from create space exploration presentation to just create presentation. So remember that the module that I have created is called create presentation. Now just click on the save button and save this presentation in a location of your choice. While saving, make sure that you save the presentation as PowerPoint macro enabled presentation because the VBA code that we are saving here that will run as a macro. So I'm selecting PowerPoint macro enabled presentation. I'm calling it AI demo and saving it. So this is saved now. I'm closing the VBA editor. All right. Now we can run the VBA code by going to this developer tab again and selecting this macros option. You will find the name of your macro here. So the module that we created, create presentation is written here. Select that and click on run. Now in most cases, the code given by ChatGPT runs without giving errors and you end up getting a presentation like this. So all the titles and subtitles are added and all the bullet points are also created here. So a presentation like this will be created if the code runs without any error. But sometimes the code given by ChatGPT might also give you an error. The good thing is that you can tell ChatGPT about the error and the line in which you are getting the error. And then ChatGPT will generate new improved code for you. So in case you are facing any issue, go back to ChatGPT and tell it what issue you are facing and ChatGPT will regenerate the code for you. Now we have a presentation which has all the slides with slide titles and some key points. But this presentation is not presentable and it is not looking good. We need to beautify this. For that, we are going to use Microsoft's designer option. So this is the designer option. This option is available in Microsoft 365 or PowerPoint 2016 and later versions. So if you are using older version, you would not be able to see this option. This designer is AI based that is based on the content in your slide. It will suggest designs and images to be inserted. Let us see what it suggests for my slides. So right now I have selected the title slide for my topic and I go to designer. You can see that after some time, it has given me some design ideas. You can see this first design idea has a video in the background. So if you look at it, this is what the designer is suggesting. You can go and select some other design ideas as well. So if you want this kind of plain, clean looking presentation, you can select this. If you want to use this background, with such animated titles and subtitles, you can use that. And you can select any of these options or you can click on see more design ideas to get more suggestions also. I like this option for my title screen. So I'm going to keep this. Now notice that if I select a design for one particular slide, the design of other slides does not change. 
For other slides, you need to go to that slide and again open the designer. Now for the second slide, I have these other options. I can select this design or maybe use this other one. So you can check out all the design ideas, whichever suits the best, you can select that option. Similarly, go ahead, open all the slides, go to designer and select a suitable design. Notice that even for the bullet points, PowerPoint is getting relevant icons and it is showing those icons along with my points. So this designer is very intelligent. The background image, background videos that you saw or the icons for bullet points that you are seeing here, those are related to the title or the points on the screen that we have in the slide. And you can see that using the designer, we have reached a point where we have a beautiful presentation on the topic which I want to present. I know that this is not the final presentation and we need to work on it to reach the final point. But this is a good starting point. Just sit back and think about it. If you had to reach this point without using AI, how much time would it take? Now that you have a basic structure set for your presentation, you can fine tune the titles, the bullet points, maybe add some images, etc. And you will be ready with the presentation. In this way, using AI, you can increase your productivity and time efficiency while creating a presentation. One thing to keep in mind when we are using this designer option is that because we are looking at design ideas for each slide individually, we have to select the design carefully so that at the end, the whole presentation should have one single theme. It is often the case that we select the best design for each individual slide and then we notice that all our slides have different color schemes and no single theme. So be careful about that. For example, if I selected this dark theme here and a colorful theme here, these two slides do not seem to belong to a single presentation. So be mindful about such issues. There is one more way of creating a presentation directly from the outline. This is only available in the Microsoft for web applications. That is, you need to sign into your Microsoft account and open Microsoft 365 apps. Then open a new blank Word document. In this Word document, you need to paste the presentation outline which was given by ChatGPT. So here I have copy pasted the presentation outline given by ChatGPT. Now one thing we need to do before we create a presentation out of this is create page breaks. So for each slide, we will insert a page break. So this was my title slide. I'll go to insert and click on page break. Similarly, at this point, I'll insert a page break. Then before slide three, page break. After slide four and so on. So make sure that for each slide, you are inserting a page break. This will clearly tell what all you want to include in one single slide. If you do not include these page breaks, all the data that you have in this document will be added into a single slide. So now I have different page breaks. Once all that is set, go to file and select this option of export. Here you will notice that there is an option of export to PowerPoint presentation. This option is not available in the desktop version of Microsoft Word. Maybe later this option may also come to desktop version. But for now, this is only available in the web version of Word. Select this option and you can see that we are getting options of design themes. You can select any theme from here. So this theme looks to be similar to what we were selecting earlier. Let's select this theme and click on export. Your presentation is ready. Let's see how it looks. You can see that it has set a background image with the title shown here. Now we may need to remove all these extra words like title or subtitle, etc. You may also notice that PowerPoint was unable to understand that the subtitle was to be added here. Also, some of those slides are missing from this presentation. So there are issues like this when we are using the web version. 
which is why my recommendation is that you generate the VBA code and then design each slide using the designer. So these are the two ways in which Microsoft's AI and ChatGPT can be used to create a presentation for us. Now there are some other AI based tools also available such as Dome.ai or Presentations.ai which can also create presentations but they are not as flexible as this. So if you are using a tool like Dome.ai, in the background it also does something similar. You give it the topic name, it goes to ChatGPT to generate the outline. It goes to another AI tool called Midjourney to generate relevant images. And then it puts together all those things to create a presentation. But the issue there is that you cannot talk with ChatGPT directly. So you cannot customize the outline in the way you want. Also, a lot of the important features while creating presentation are paid in such tools. So you may need to pay extra to get a presentation from such tools. So if you want more flexibility and you do not want to pay extra, using this method is more preferable. But if you want more ease of use, if you want to avoid copy pasting of VBA code or debugging of VBA code, which you may have to face while using this method, then using those AI based tools is also fine. That is all in this video. I hope using the information given in this video, you are able to increase your productivity and save a lot of your time while creating presentations. See you the next video.